this or oh, this video is just i don't even know i think i can motherhood you know i never thought about this question how is motherhood until a friend of mine asked me how is motherhood how has it affected you and she also suggested that i actually come on here and talk about it i think the first time i came here to speak about motherhood i never i was not really feeling it as much as i am now um on this channel i've said that i had my baby abroad and having my baby abroad i was fortunate enough to have the most loving caring auntie by my side helping with my baby um, coming back here i had help you know but it then dawned on me when um my helper had to leave my nanny and it was just me juggling career and motherhood hmm. you know if i look back at it i'll think far to the first day i found out i was pregnant i think that begins the journey to motherhood it was tough you know today that i'm shooting this video max a year that um, my cervix opened while i was 27 weeks pregnant and you know i just can't help but think of the emotions that ran through deep into my vein during pregnancy i think at some point during my pregnancy i never felt loved i don't know i just didn't feel loved i think that was just one of the pregnancy hormones i just felt like my marriage was just, you know, because we had just gotten married and I found out I was pregnant barely a month into the marriage. So the honeymoon phase was sort of used for the pregnancy first trimester, you know. And I I also it also rather it also affected my career because I had to stop working and those things affect a lot of things in the career space. If you're a career woman, you understand why I mean, you know, that's why a lot of women give up their careers for their children, to raise their children. And I really admire women that do that, but I, I just wasn't ready to do that, that person, though, because that's not just me. I'm not that person. I, I, I want, I love my career. I, I want to be a career woman. I have a goal for myself and I always tell myself that a child will not stop me from doing that, but little did I know that a child might not stop you, but they will limit you to what you can do yeah pregnancy took a huge toll on me and motherhood is taking a big toll because um i don't know i'm just coming into reality that life is not as it used to be no matter how much you tell yourself that it's different for me. I mean, I have a caring husband. I have this, I have that. I mean, I'm not feeling it. You just gotta be a mom. Like, nobody can do it better than you do. You're gonna have anxiety that even when whoever is looking after your child, even if you get help, they, they won't be able to do it as good as you can. You know, you feel guilty every day. My son is nine months old now, and um, when I get back from work, um, because of that nanny issue, we have to always drop my mom's piece in the morning and pick him in the evening, evenings. And when we go to pick him up in the evenings, me and my husband, my son doesn't even want me to carry him first. He doesn't know me. Yeah. That is one of the things you have to endure choosing your career over being a mom. I think that's called mom guilt and I think um, everybody has been there and um, I'm not even trying to come here and be vulnerable because I don't like being vulnerable here but I feel like realness is very important and to also stand in the shoes of any woman that feels like she's neglected her child because she wants to have it work you know um, where I come from I want to I, I, I 
I, I want to have I want my child to have the best you know because life is not Christmas and I'm not praying for the worst because, but my husband and I will say something that God forbid if whatever happens to him it's nice that I have something doing and that's the mentality I've always had that right now my son might not he might be losing touch with me but I feel like in future he'll understand like this thing had to happen you know he will understand that mommy had to work he will understand that mommy also had to earn her own money because mommy wants to be able to buy you a few things you know and it's funny because i'm sure there's a woman right now watching this thinking oh me i'm at home raising my kid i wish i could go to work i'm just so frustrated yeah that's the strange balance of life but i kind of felt better one day when um this young man told me that a young man a, a colleague of mine told me that he him and his mom are like this that is successful but funny enough his mom has always been a career woman still is a career woman you know and he grew up with different helps and nannies raising him but till today him and his mom are very close and um he he told me that having a bond with your child does not mean that you have to um spend 24 hours with them heck some of us spent spent 24 hours with parents and Still, that bond was not there so it doesn't necessarily mean they might not know some certain things i might not know i might not see his first walk i mean his first steps but i mean it only gets better that's what he said that was the assurance he gave me and i sort of felt better but i can't help but just feel guilty sometimes you know i mean the day my son started clapping i didn't know he claps one day and I was like, oh my god, he can clap. And they're like, oh, he's been clapping since. And I'm like, oh, wow. The day he um, attempted to crawl, I was like, oh my god, he's attempting to crawl. And they're like, oh, he's been attempting since. And I'm like, oh, wow. And I asked my husband sometimes, why don't you capture precious moments for me? And my husband's like, well, I'm always busy. You know, and I feel someone like, oh, when I was in Canada, I used to capture precious moments for you. But you're not capturing precious moments for me. But I think people are just different, right? Even when he started sitting down um, properly, that moment as well, I missed. And one day, I think two nights ago, he stood and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And my husband's like, oh, he's been doing that since. And I just kept quiet. And I don't know, I, I feel like, Karen, women, you're going to miss a lot of firsts. Like, you miss all the firsts. I don't know but besides that mom guilt it's the most sweetest feeling ever having someone look at you the way your child does regardless of when maybe he sees sometimes reverse his dad over you like in my case there's this smile he gives me in the mornings you know First of all, I looked at this as work when I realized my nanny left and I had to be the one waking up early in the morning to bath him before I get ready for work. But now I look at this as a means to bonding. I In the morning, I take him, I have my bath first, then I take him to the bathroom, then I I put him down to bed. And he first of all cries because he's cranky, he's tired. And I have to bathe him before I, I leave for work because his dad might not do it the way I like, like I said, and I just rather do it. My mom's hand hurts her, so she can't do it. So when I'm bathing him, when we are done, when I wrap him, swaddle him in the towel, and I look at him, he looks at me and smiles, and it melts my heart. You know, we spend 30 minutes together in the morning, bathing, getting ready, and everything, and I feel like that is like the most key start of my day. It just makes me so happy. It makes me feel like all oh, this is actually worth it indeed. It has its down moments. I'm only human. I am supposed to feel this way. I'm supposed to feel out of place. I'm supposed to feel overwhelmed. I'm supposed to have the mom guilt overload. But the way he looks at me, I always tell him, I'm like, baby boo, the way you look at me, 
nobody looks at me like that and someone once said when you have a child god gives you a new heart and i've noticed certain key changes in my character for one i now have patience Number two, I used to be very aggressive to my husband, like, you know, really stubborn. But I see myself not wanting to act aggressive when my son is there because I want to portray the kind of woman, his ideal kind of woman, the role model of a woman he would want to be with one day. Because if I'm acting like a crazy person, he might think that it's okay for women to act mad. And my husband is such a calm person that I might be acting crazy and he will just be quiet. So he will feel like it's okay for a woman to bully a man. I'm not saying I bully my husband, but that might be the way he sees it or he will see. Because then my husband and I used to have a lot of clashes. And during the pregnancy too, we were always clashing. You know, when you're pregnant, hormones are bound to be high. You and your husband might, I said, you and your husband might not see eye to eye. And it will just really affect you if you're not careful. And that's why I said at the point I did not feel loved during pregnancy. But I realized that that was sort of all in my head. I was causing trouble and it was also new to me, also new to my husband. And I feel like when we decided to go again for another child, maybe things will be different because that was our first time, right? So like I said, motherhood is... It's not easy it's bittersweet but it's more sweet um you're never really ready for a child trust me you're never ever you're never ever really ready you just have to go with the flow um you never know what to do right you just have to go with the flow and i think this is my cue to end this video i have put liam down to sleep i think he has woken up and um, before I go, don't be hard on yourself, new mom or first time mom or mom, 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 that you had children. Don't be hard on yourself. Career woman, stay at home mom. Don't be hard on yourself. You are doing the best. And yeah, cheers to every single mom out there. Most especially cheers to my mom. She's amazing. Cheers to my auntie and Chedisua. It taught me how to bath a child. It taught me how to put a child to bed. It taught me how to wear a diaper. It literally taught me everything about a child. I love you so much. I don't know if you watch my vlog, but yeah, motherhood will be nothing without you, special women. And yes, happy International Women's Day. This video is in honor of that to every single woman. Even if you've not had a child, this is for you. You know. You don't have to have a biological child before you are also a mother. So this is all the women that are striving in career. Stay at home, like I just mentioned. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever you're striving, this video is for you. Thank you so much. Mwah.